Scientists say Antarctica's ice is melting six times faster than it was 40 years ago. Now, according to a new report, the melting of the protective ice sheet could lead to an exponential rise in the sea level, possibly within the next century. Now, the continent currently holds 90% of the world's ice, and if that ice barrier were to melt, it could trigger a cascade of land ice into the ocean. Now, joining me now is the lead author of that study, Eric Rigneau. He's a professor of Earth System Science at the University of California at Irvine. Uh, Eric, uh, thank you for joining us. What's causing the ice to melt so fast? Well, what causes the ice to melt is the flow of the glaciers. They're flowing faster into the sea. So it's not the conventional melt that we used to, where we see the melt from the snow and ice from warmer air temperature. Now, what can we expect to see from this rapid melting of the ice sheets? Well, we would expect to see uh, uh, more land ice dump into the ocean and faster rates of sea level, uh, sea level rise in the future, and especially from uh, East Antarctica, which was uh, until, until recently viewed as uh, the more stable part of, uh, of Antarctica. Now, somebody in, say, Oklahoma or Kansas or Arkansas might not really care about oceans rising, but explain what would occur if there was a rapid rise in sea level, especially on the coasts. Well, along the coast, uh, we have uh, millions of people living and uh, very expensive infrastructures, including airports, for instance. You know that uh, on the West Coast, uh, uh, the airports in San Francisco, for instance, are within one meter of sea level rise. Mm -hmm. So if, if we have several meters of sea level rise, we would have no airports uh, along the San Francisco Bay. And let's talk about immediate threat. What does the melting pose as an immediate threat? Well, immediately, it's a very small leakage uh, of, uh, of the Antarctic continent into the ocean. The rates are very small. But you should see that as a big balloon with a few holes in it. And as we look at it, we find more holes every time. And at some point, the big balloon might explode. Now, your study also found that East Antarctica is likely more sensitive to climate change. Why so? And, and why is that significant? So it is so because uh, the main culprit, the main driver of the changes in the Antarctic is not exactly the air temperature, it's the ocean around the Antarctic. Okay. The ocean contains heat, and that heat is being pushed by the changing winds around the Antarctic continent and melt the glaciers faster. Uh, the fact that this participant is a big deal because it holds a lot of potential for multiple meters of sea level rise. And final question, is there anything that can be done at this point to curb or kind of prevent that ice from, from really, just, can, can it be slowed down or at this point is it too late? No, it is not too late. Uh, we cannot change what's going to happen in the next 20, 30 years because the climate system is on a roll. But we can affect what's going to happen in the later part of the century by curbing our carbon uh, gas emission and, and uh, having a better handle on, on climate warming. It's a startling report. Thank you very much, Eric Rigneault from University of California at Irvine. Thank you.